Hi everybody, we are at the Durham Museum in Omaha and we are learning about a very unique exhibit here and joining me now with more is Mark Callahan and Mark, tell us a little more about this exhibit. I've been collecting lunch boxes for about 30 years now. So I started um, by picking up a single Pac-Man lunchbox at a flea market here in Omaha when I was attending Creighton University. I grew up most of my life over in Germany on a military base. My dad was in the army. And so when I saw that, it reminded me of my childhood, playing games and so forth, Atari. But then it got me on this path of saying, what else is out there? Because I just thought it was such a unique item. And then I went to Barnes and Noble, looked at price guides, and I saw just how many different lunch boxes were made. And then that kind of set me on my quest to go out and buy more. And so I started hunting around at flea markets, garage sales, antique malls. This was all before eBay and buying up what I could. When eBay came around, it was, became very easy to buy pretty much anything. And so the thrill of the hunt for lunch boxes was gone. But I started to uh, evolve a little bit in my collecting tastes and found things like original artwork that was used to make the lunchbox, original production material. And then from there, I started doing more research just to understand stories and the history of lunchboxes. And when I pieced all that together, I said, what am I going to do with this? And I thought a museum exhibit was really the right way to tell this story. What makes this exhibit unique? What's differentiating here is there's never been an exhibit done that explores the history the insights and production process of lunch boxes. All the original artwork that I've accumulated in my collecting uh, over the last 30 years has never been on display before. And these are all original paintings that were made by illustrators of the firms. These are one of a kind items. And uh, based on my research, 80% or so has been destroyed. And so the remaining pieces are in uh, par partly in the Smithsonian's archives, which I uh, go and do research there. But the largest, it's in private hands, is my collection. And that's been something that I've been very passionate about. And that's what's differentiating here, is you get to see the one-of-a-kind original artwork that was done to make the G.I. Joe lunchbox, the Knight Rider lunchbox, or even uh, the Street Hawk lunchbox, which we're very excited to have in, uh, included uh, the Street Hawk, because I have, from my collection, all of the artifacts from the original photos that were sent from the producers to Aladdin that they use to then render concept art for the lunchbox for approvals and so forth. Once it passed through that gate, it went to a, a larger scale, one and a half times painting that was done by an illustrator. And once that was signed off on, then they went through and did production sheets, proof sheets, and ultimately the final lunchbox. And I'm lucky enough to have all those artifacts here on display. And I just think it's very cool to see how they were made um, back in the 70s and 60s before the digital age. I think that's very exciting. It tells a lot about the history of manufacturing even in the United States. This exhibit really is amazing and Mark where can people go to see it? Sure so the exhibit will be running through September 3rd here at the Durham Museum in Omaha. All right thank, thank you. you Mark for being here today and telling us about this great exhibit. Mm -hmm.